Um, so what inspired you to start YouTube? Okay, so back to the juggling, uh, I couldn't get any work juggling at one point, and I thought if I put juggling videos online, maybe somebody will hire me for some jobs. Uh, so that didn't happen. Uh, but then I saw Lonely Girl 15 and Lisa Nova, and I don't even know if you guys know who they are, but it's the first you do. It's the first generation YouTubers, and they were just talking to the camera. And once I saw that, and I recognized that I have the personality to do the same thing, and I started doing that. And for those of you that are starting on YouTube right now and you say, so difficult, nobody watches my videos. Nobody watched my videos for almost three years, but I still did it every day. And what I did to get people to watch my videos is buy tickets to every single gathering that I could come across. And, and I would come to gatherings of 200, 300 people, and I would talk to everybody and tell them, hey, I'm always okay, I'm awesome, watch my videos. And that's how people started watching my videos. So don't give up. That's that's how you met Shay Carl, right? Yes, yeah. he was one of the first people that I've ever met, uh, 2008. And I came up to him and I said, Hey, how do you like all the K channels? And he said, I love all the K channels. <laughs> and I'm like, No, it's all the K. So nobody knew who I was. Uh, but that's how we met. And it's it. There's a video of it. Him saying that, so you can find it on my all the K channel. And is there any other audience questions? Yeah? Yeah. What has been your favorite fan or like experience or story? My favorite fan experience? Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh. You know, I don't have one in particular, but coming to events like this and talking to you guys and hearing your stories and everything you're going through personally, I think that's my favorite thing. And I would not be coming here if it wasn't watching at home and coming here to me. I'm sorry I don't have a specific one. Maybe you can create one for me later on tonight. But I just love meeting all of you guys. Alright. Can you yell at CGMXC for not coming? Okay, well I actually was visiting Charles Trippie and Allie uh, two weeks ago. And the reason they're not coming because they're actually obligated to do something else. They really wanted to be here. So I feel bad yelling at them because they're actually doing something <laughs> But I, I will call them and I'll be like, you didn't come to the blogger fair, you failed in life. Is Emo Stacy ever coming back? <laughs> I know. Okay, those are having this dilemma. Emo Stacy is a character that I play, and she's an emo girl who's always on upset about everything. And uh, she's my favorite character that I've ever created. But as I got older, I feel weird playing her, just between you and I. So she will be coming back, but I'm trying to find a good, uh, a good script idea that I can bring her in and not feel weird about it. It's funny because like maybe like maybe your character, maybe she's like a younger age, and because you you're no longer that age, it's hard. Yeah, yeah it's becoming difficult because I'm starting to think of what kind of videos that I really want to do. And right now I'm on this kid. I want to find a male dancer and uh, create emotions and do like very beautiful dancing videos that um, express emotion. Right, right. And I don't know what it is. I'm like, what am I going through? What's happening? <laughs> You've got just a, a dance itch you got to go after. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there's enough male dancers online somewhere that you can find somebody that wants to collaborate. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> it's all about collaborations, right? Yes. Cool. Any other questions? Yes? Okay. Right here. Ashley. I met her earlier. How do you go about character development and script development? Oh my gosh, um, that's like a constant battle 24 7. Um, I hey, that, was, that was me. What are you doing? What are you doing to that? <laughs> uh, so, um, evil character came around because actually reading your comments, you guys. Because a lot of people would complain and they were really young and I could uh, recognize that. And I thought, well, what can they relate to? Okay, let's go. Not that all of you are like that. So, but some, you know, some of you inspired me to create that character. And then because I used to be in a circus, I had all this sort of bright colored costume. So I literally just put it on myself, I do something on my face, and like, this is perfect. She is going to be a perfect teenage character. Um, and as far as the scripts go, I try to spend time with people that are interesting, and I get inspired by their stories and everything that they're doing. And uh, if something affects me deeply, I like to write about that too. 
and I just tried to put a funny spin on it and put it online. So there's a lot of like real, real emotion that goes into my videos. How, how long does it take to make a video? Depends on the video. Uh, my last week's video, which was me at the beach pranking seagulls. <laughs> yes, those, <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't wait to see this video. I mean, those seagulls, they just never leave me alone, so I decided to prank them. And you guys have to watch it. Uh, but that video, I literally got together with my friend. Uh, we shot it within two hours. I have edited it within six hours. And it was up the next day. Uh, but usually... But if that's I have an eight-hour day. day. That's, like a, that's a full that's a full, day. It's definitely a full day. Um, if I do sketch comedy with my characters, and if I'm playing all of my characters in the video. It could take up to a full day of shooting and maybe three days of editing. So it takes a long time. And on top of it all, I do have a gaming channel and a beauty channel and an old UK2 channel. So that takes, literally, I just, I don't have a life. So if you guys want to do YouTube for a living, you have to accept the fact that you might not have a life. That's going to be your life every day. You have to make sacrifices to get, you know, to certain places. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Cool. Is there anything that you would do different now that you learned so much over the years? Yes. Uh, well, one of the things I would definitely, if I, if, I, if I could go back, I would say I would try to figure out exactly what I want to do on YouTube in the beginning, mm -hmm. so I don't have to wait three years before I finally go, oh, this is my calling, okay. Right. Um, so that, and uh, just plan out. Like, if you plan out your content a lot, if you take time to plan it out, it goes so much smoother, right. and then you don't show up on set and you go, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Why am I here today? Why does nobody know what's going on? Uh, and then editing becomes even longer, and then you just lose interest in everything. Uh, so yeah, definitely preparation. Cool. Well, is there anybody here at Blog Repair that you're looking forward to meeting or collaborating with? It's so funny. I've done this since, like, calling. <laughs> I've done this for so... You know what? Actually, I do have... Um, I've met so many people over the years since 2006. I know everybody. The only person I really want to spend more time with this time is Peter Shaw, <laughs> who is vlogging right now. Peter Shaw. <laughs> That's okay. So we uh, we met a couple of years ago, and I saw him in playlist for like a second. And here's the person that I really want to get to know uh, a little more during this time. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, where's Heather? Heather is always who I look to but I need to know what's next and how much time I have left. Has it been 30 minutes already? I don't know, so that's the thing. I, I need to what check with Heather. Is? I don't know. Let's just keep going until Heather comes to Yeah, let's keep going and I also do... I want to finish my vlog as yes, well. Yes, of course, of course.